uh, they face uh, abrupt uh, decrease of population of this area because they have hundreds of the sites of was very well developed. The tools were made mostly of copper. Archaeologists say that uh, uh, they face uh, abrupt uh, decrease of population of this area because they have hundreds of the sites of a stone age, but only a dozen of the bronze age. And they say that uh, there was plenty of people who populated this area in stone age, but then they disappear somewhere. My viewpoint that opposite happened. All the Stone Age settlement uh, uh, was found uh, established by people who escaped from the flood and uh, populated the steps of the area uh, before the shoreline uh, stabilized and they came back and rebuilt their houses. And because uh, there is no uh, uh, copper uh, sources in the area, they uh, had to use stone uh, tools, uh, flint, and uh, if we use dating by the uh, tools, by artifacts, we consider them stone age, but actually it has nothing to do with the age. The Phoenicians were presumed to have come from the Sons of Sidon, who was the namesake for the ancient now submerged port city off the coast of Lebanon. In addition, the Thracians were also presumed to have come from Tyrus, a son of Jopheth. Ancient historians even link the Ashkenaya region of the Ukraine with Ashkenaz, who was also a son of Jopheth. The Cimmerians are linked with Gomer, another son of Jopheth, known to the ancient Persians as Gemara. This seems to represent further evidence that the roots of the ancient people around the Old Black Sea are corroborated by the biblical accounts in Genesis. These earliest tribes of the Black Sea Basin were evidently already living there when the salt water from the then rising world ocean began to pour in. The Black Sea Basin created rivers outflowing back, such as the Don, Danube, and the Dnester rivers. These rivers surged huge volumes of Ice Age runoff water back into the basin. When the Volga River was flowing as a torrent into the Caspian Sea, many, many times its presence was charged, filling the Caspian up to its outlet, which is the Manx Strait. Then that equivalent outflow would have poured into the Black Sea. The Black Sea would have risen to its outlet, and the same amount of outflow would even perhaps more from the Black Sea rivers, from the, the uh, Danube rivers draining the ice of the Alps. All would have been poured out of the Black Sea, yes. And so the fact that we see the delta deposit of that river uh, south of the Kerch Strait and we see its top of the delta, the subaqueous delta, at minus 50 meters, would say that that flood took the Black Sea Lake up to a level of about minus 30 meters. So its outlet at that time was about minus 30 meters. And then decades after this infilling had been occurring, another temporary shoreline was established at negative 30 meters. But it is always at negative 30 meters. It doesn't vary from negative 20 to negative 50. So it indicates definitively that all this faulting, all this block faulting, called these, called these stair step block faults going down deeper and deeper along the continental shelf, uh, occurred at the end of the Ice Age and before this secondary shoreline was formed at negative 30 meters. So all